What is up, boys and girls? Welcome back to another episode of Humbug Outdoors Fishing. It's your boy C. Smith here. And today we've got yet again another review video for you guys here. Uh, you know, I figured it's a good time to do some review videos. Christmas is coming up and you guys need gear to buy. So today I'm going to be doing another reel for you guys. This one is a little more unique of a reel than one I've reviewed in the past. Uh, this is the Akuma Avenger ABF. Now, the reason why it's an ABF is because it's got this little bite and run feature on there which some of you may not know what a bait runner or a bite and run feature is. So I will go over that in the video and show you guys kind of what its use is and what species it's really, really beneficial on, you know, and what technique. So yeah, gonna go over the specs, why I like this reel and uh, a little more about it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so I actually bought this reel probably four or five years ago. A friend told me about it and I decided to buy this one right here. And I have been nothing but impressed by the reel. It is exceptional. It is held up on some big fish for me. And overall, oh my gosh, for the money, this is an exceptional reel. Let's go over the specs on the reel. All right, so the one I'm gonna do the specs on here is gonna be the 40B size. So the gear ratio on this one is a 4.5 to one. It's got six plus one bearings. It's coming in at 11.3 ounces. It's got 13 pounds of drag. It holds 170 yards of 12 pound test and the MSRP is $59.99. All right, so to show you guys here uh, what I mean by the bite and run feature, that is, it's basically, it's a double drag system. The nice part about that double drag system on there is you don't have to change up your drag while you're letting a fish take the bait. So say for instance, right, I'm gonna have this clicked down. You'll have that down while your bait is just out and you know sitting down on the, on the bottom, right? When a fish picks it up, this guy is gonna move, right? So your drag is super loose. You notice I can just spin it. Well, the second you click that over, now you're in your top drag and you notice it's a whole different drag. So it's nice because you can let that sit down. You can let a fish feed if you want, say it's a catfish or a striper, you can let him take the bait and run with it. And then when you're ready to set the hook, you click that down. You notice it automatically engages when you reel down, boom, fish on. Now you can fight him with your fighting drag. So you adjust the fighting drag like a normal reel on the top, but then your bait and run is on the bottom here. You just twist that and adjust. So it's an awesome, awesome feature for when you're using live bait or uh, it's also a good, good feature with like sharks and some fish that you've got to let them kind of sit and eat it for an extra you know second or two uh, catfish is a really nice one for this striper this is an amazing reel for striper i cannot tell you how good of a reel this is for striper um so yeah awesome little feature there's not a lot of companies that do it and the companies that do have it a lot of them have not really perfected it yet. So I would say Shimano and Akuma are the two that have done really well with this. However, Akuma in terms of price point here has definitely got Shimano beat. So yeah, I will mention here um, the two sizes I have. This one is the 40B and this is the 55B. This one right here is going to be a lot better suited for cat. This is the perfect catfish reel. Uh, this would do well for smaller striper. Yeah, it would be, it would, those two are kind of what this reel is meant for is catfish and striper. Uh, this one right here would be better for big striper. I've also used this one for sharks and rays, uh, down at the ocean and it's done great for me there. I would say this one, this one, you could probably get away with some sturgeon on it too. It's got a big enough spool to where I think you could, you know, you could pin down a decent sized sturgeon. I think an oversized, you would have some problems with, but a smaller sturgeon, you know, a slot or an undersized, I think you'd be okay with on that one. I have this one right here paired up on an eight foot uh, medium heavy ugly stick. It's one of the ugly stick catfish rods. And I love that setup. That setup is so awesome. I have caught so many big fish on that setup. And it's kind of like my go-to, you know, catfish rod and reel when I'm going out for some bigger catfish. So taking a lot of, a lot of fish in the teens on that setup, no problem. Now I do like the colorway they've got here. I like that little bit of orange, orangish yellow, like it's more like a gold actually accent uh, with the, the all silver and dark. I like that feature, uh, you know, the, the colors on it. The one thing I really like about this reel is the knob. What I like is they've kind of gave it a little bit oversized of a knob here. And that's really nice, especially for when you're fighting bigger fish, it's got a good grip on it and it doesn't slip. It's, it doesn't feel cheap for, you know, for $60, this reel definitely, the parts on it don't feel 60 bucks. They feel a little higher quality, uh, which is a nice, a nice thing to have. I know it's still plastic, like the plastic handle, um, but it just feels like a solid plastic. And I've had these, these two both for a while now, and I have had no problem, no breaking parts, nothing on them. It's, it, you know, made very quality with it. So yeah. 
All right, so one feature I really like about these guys is the durability. It, they've both held up amazing. I've caught some big rays on this one. I've caught some big catfish on this one. Actually, this is the same reel my dad caught a 25 pound channel catfish on at uh, Scott's Flat Lake when we were camping a couple years back. I'll show the picture right here for you guys. Probably a uh, lake record, we're not sure. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, amazing reels. The only thing I would have to say in terms of the durability, in terms of like a con, would be this one I've taken out to the salt a couple times for sharks and rays, and I have noticed a couple of the screws and little parts on it are starting to corrode. And I cleaned these after the trip. There must have just been a little extra salt in there that I had missed. This one has never been out to the salt and it hasn't corroded at all. So I know that's because of the salt water on these. I thought it would have been nice if they had added some corrosion resistant outer parts on it if they are going to market it towards salt water. Um, but other than that, I mean, it still works. You know, it's just the screws are just a little bit corroded in there. It still works obviously fine. So that would be the only con I would say on the durability factor here. Other than that, they have held up for a long time. I've beat these things up and they've always worked. All right. So next thing we'll talk about here is price. For $60, I mean, come on, like there, if you guys look online, there are very few bait, bait runners in that $60 range. A lot of them are the more expensive Shimano's. And then there's also a lot, there's a couple like in the $30 range and I've seen them and they look like trash. They are horrible. I would not, you could not pay me to use those against big fish. So this one right here, I think is a great intermediate in between the two. Uh, you know, it's still not that high end, super expensive stuff, but it's also not just garbage. You know what I mean? That you're going to waste your money on. It's something in the middle that I think is perfect. I think a lot of you guys are in that same kind of budget line for something like this. So yeah, this 40B is perfect for catfish. I do also like the fact that it's $60. You know, if a rod and reel were to get flown in the water from a catfish taking it or just what have you not, you know, whatever, right? It's nice that it's not a super expensive setup so you're not getting dumped a brand new $300 rod and reel combo. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's gonna do it for the review for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know this isn't a bass fishing gear. I thought I would do something a little different, mix it up with some catfish and striper gear. So yeah, 100%, if you guys are throwing bait on the rivers, uh, you know, catfish, striper, sturgeon, just whatever, the bite and run feature is so nice. You can let the fish eat it, not feel any pressure, and then boom, set right into them, and it's game on. So awesome little feature that Akuma has done a very good job in keeping at a lower price ice point so very impressed with these reels caught a lot of fish on them through the years so yeah that's gonna do it for the video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a like comment subscribe share do all this stuff you're supposed to do for a youtube video and we will see you guys next time on humbug outdoors fishing